Hello guys, my name is Subzero Extabyte and I am having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well, and if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic, and that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to build two portals today yes. One of them is the life portal and the one of them is the death portal. The difference yay is pretty simple you can see it by the name right. So that is what we are going to do today. But I got one more surprise guys your boy Chip is here as well. Isn't that a surprise because he was out for a few videos but he is back now so let's get going shall we. Right now we need to focus on making a podium for all the portals to be on to we can make them really cool next to each other and stuff and it is just going to be great fun when they are all there and they are all next to each other when the same level and stuff. You probably know what I mean. But we have basically don't that and we got one hell of a bit stage which is fantastic because we need a lot of space because we have got a lot of portals so that is just fantastic. So right now, we are almost done with the dirt bit and I would rather have too much space than that I need to make a little platform in the middle of the video because that wouldn't be fun either. So we are just going to do it the way that we are doing it and I quite like how we are doing it right now. It isn't really hard to do and we just need a lot of space. I would prefer if all of the grass would go away but I guess that the grass just doesn't like us and we are just trying to avoid it but the grass isn't trying to avoid us which is not really that fantastic but I guess that it is okay and we are just having a good time at the moment and it is just all fantastic and stuff so that is just marvelous just like this area that we have right now because it is just all flat and it just looks really clean but what you guys might not yet have known is that with the nether portal you just ignite the obsidian with flint and steel but for this mod you really do need an igniter and they have an igniter for every single block that is in the game so that is just fantastic yes they even have a spider web portal and it is just going to be amazing but if we just line those up right there then we take all of the blocks that we are going to build the portals out of and then it will be alright and then it is just going to be great and all of that. So we almost have everything and we got wood we got cobblestone and regular stone, then we have the wood logs which are also great, we have some leaves which is going to be a different experience, we even got the normal obsidian in there, we have got some bedrock in the mix, we are having some bricks as well which is amazing. And last but not least we also have the blocks of iron in our inventory, so you could say we could make quite a few portals so that is just marvelous, and let us start with all of those shall we? Well I couldn't really wait so I already started and we have got the dirt one in already which is just fantastic, now we just need a couple more. So, we just make the same shape over and over again and it is just going to lead us into other worlds. I don't even know what the portals are going to lead to in all of that but I hope that it is cool and that it is really a special world. I can't really think of anything when I would say in myself that I would go to a stone world. But I guess time will tell and we are just going to see for ourselves which is going to be pretty amazing. So let's just go ahead and do all of that and then it is just going to be really nice and stuff and we are just going to play 6. Wait no 5 more portals. So that isn't really too much but I guess that it is quite a few. So if we place all of these then we have 9 portals and then we are just going ahead and we can explore all of the worlds if we want. I think here are even more portals so we are don't yet. The best part still has to come so let's go ahead and hope that the things are going to be cool. So. It is time to ignite all of them and let's just go ahead and do all of that and I think that it is going to be really cool. But we do need the right blocks and the dirt can't have any grass on it because then it wouldn't be a dirt world anymore or a dirt portal. Then it would just be a dirt portal with a bit of grass. But the rest seems to work. So we are just going to go ahead and destroy the wood one and build that one again later because we actually failed to make a portal which is not really that cool for my image. But I guess that some things happen which are just great. But the rest works and we have got all of the portals done now, except for the wood one then but that one will come and we are just going to see which wood we are going to need, and I think that it has to be made out of planks instead of logs. And as we could see Sub was right again and there is more pig man here than there are in the nether I believe, there are quite a few here yes. But I guess that we are just going to enter all of the worlds and we are going to explore this crazy world of dirt. It is a bit weird because I believe that it is just the nether only then the nether rack is dirt and the glowstone is just TNT which is not really that amazing. Yeah you even have another fortress in the dirt world which is not really that cool. They could have made that a bit different. 
but there is no lava which is great though so they have done an amazing job at removing the lava and changing it into water. And there are just normal mobs in here, no special dirt monsters or anything like that, but just ordinary zombies creepers and spider and all of that. I don't believe that there are Enderman in here which would be pretty weird since Enderman are normally in the end, and I don't believe that those could even enter the nether, but I guess that this is not the nether but it also is so that is a bit weird, but I guess that it is okay and we are pretty much enjoying ourselves in here and it looks quite alright, I just hope that we are able to find the portal again, but I do think that I know kind of where the portal is so that is all alright and we are just going to travel back then. So right now. We just need to find the portal or maybe we come across something that is interesting on the way towards the portal. But I don't believe that there is something that is really amazing except that there is just TNT in the ceiling and in the ground, which I would like to see in the normal world. But I guess that, something like that would never enter the normal world. Because why would there just be TNT all over the place? Then I don't think the world would look the same as it does now because then all of the stuff would just be ruined by the explosions of TNT which would not really be that great to be honest, but I guess it would be pretty good fun to just make your world explode so that is something that is amazing though so that is quite alright. But we are out here and it is not really that hot in the dirt nether so it is quite alright. I would not say that this would be the place where I would build my house or anything like that but it is quite alright if I have to be honest. It is quite sad that there is no grass at all. But then it would be the grass block nether and not just the regular dirt nether anymore. But we are not going to stay here for long because we are already gone and I don't really know where we are at, at the moment but I guess that we are on the sea which is not really that cool because now I don't know where I built all of my portals and now I have to either kill myself or I just need to fly over there. And we have actually found it already so that is just alright. But we are going into the cobblestone one and as we are here it looks quite alright. And once again it is just the same only then different. Yes that was a very clear message. Thank you very much. But what I am trying to say is that this is actually the nether again but then instead of the dirt nether that we were just in the dirt is now gone and it is all just cobblestone. But I guess the TNT is still here which is pretty interesting because I would like to ignite even more so we can start a really big bang. This bang did absolutely nothing to the world and it basically had no damage but it would be fun if it did a bunch of damage. But maybe in this one it will do a lot of damage and it seems like the leaf nether is a bit different than your average nether because this is actually really green and I don't really know what is going on right here but there are just random sponges in the walls and in the ceilings and stuff and I don't really like this one. It is quite alright though because it is actually different and it is not just the same as the previous nether ripoffs. This is still a bit of a rip off but it is different because on the other hand it isn't a rip of that must have sounded really confusing but I hope that some of you know what I am trying to say but this would be heaven if you need leaves because you can get them anywhere if you just carry your Ed Sheeran with you but I guess that we don't really need the real nether but we can try the bedrock one and it looks quite alright so far I don't really know if it is going to be even more cool because it is basically just really dark out here and I think this is a bit of nether mixed with a bit of end because it is the nether but then there is all this darkness which is probably coming up from the end but that is alright you can really harvest anything here except for TNT and all of that or you are the type of person that goes to the nether for XP but I guess that if you aren't that person but let's just explore the brick nether for now because I feel like a brick and now we can get a lot of bricks if we would need bricks but I don't really need bricks at the moment but if you aren't able to get any clay over there where you have your house then you can always just come here and come and take some brick over here. But it is actually quite the same as the nether since the bricks have almost the same color as the nether rack blocks. But it looks really clean. I don't really know why but it just looks alright like this. I have never seen a stormtrooper hit a shot so this is the first stormtrooper to do that. And Sub-Zero Xtabite is really glad to be a stormtrooper. And he is one of the best troopers out there, so props to myself. But we are at a lake right now and it is really hard to hit these sheep that are on the other side of the lake. But we are just testing ourselves. I don't really need myself mutton or anything so I am alright and I am just doing this for fun and just to see how good my aim is and I need to aim up a bit and I think that we are already coming closer. But now I am doubting if you can make this shot at all but we just done it so we are really the first stormtrooper with a good aim. I am not sure how many shots we took before we finally hit one of them, 
but that doesn't really matter because that was just a bit of warm up for the bow and arrow. So let's just go ahead and try to kill it form here which seems like it is really impossible but we can try at least so that is great. And we are just going to do that and then when we do it then I will be really proud and I think that Daddy Vader will then also be really proud and maybe I would get the Medal of Honor because I would be the first stormtrooper to actually kill something with a gun. I already said that this isn't really a gun, but I guess that this is also something you aim and shoot from a distance so I think it would be fair to call this a bit of a gun. But the sheep is in a tree and now it was just a really easy target, it shouldn't line up for me like that. But it did so I am really sad for the little sheep, but it was just a free kill and he was just presenting his wool and hit mutton so that is just unfair for both of us. For him because I am not sure if he really intended to do that, but he did anyway and he died. And for me because I am now sad that I killed a sheep from the distance, which is actually pretty sad. But I guess you have to do something to get food on your table. And we chose to be a hunter so sometimes with hunting you get easy shots and it does happen sometimes that you get really hard shots. So why would you make it difficult for yourself if you can have it really easy like we just had? If you hunt for fun then I understand that you might only just go for the hard shots because only that is probably rewarding if you have some trophies. But we have a golden sword as well now so we match the yellow stuff that is on our helmet. We don't really have a light blue color on our helmet so I don't think diamond would qualify as a candidate. And we also don't have a dark blue colored sword so this is the best one that we can take I think. So, we are just going to take this one because I want to and I really like the golden sword. So that is just great. And we are just wandering around for a bit and I am actually enjoying myself pretty well so I am alright right here. And we just need some more meat for the barbecue that I am going to host when I have enough meat. So let's go ahead and get it over with. Then we can start making the barbecue and then we can already make the fire on and then the feast can begin. But that would be really cool but I don't have permission to do that out in the open. Although I am Sub-Zero X to bite, and above that I am also a Power Ranger so I think we would probably get away with it. But I guess that we are just not going to do that and just enjoy this to ourselves and then just keep all of that meat and we will put it in a fridge that I don't have in a house that I also don't poses. So I guess that we are just going to keep all of this meat in our pan pockets or something. But that is alright we are able to do that so we are just going to do that and we will just be fine and then we are good to go and stuff. So this is just going to be fantastic. And now we are just going to take some other stuff. And we went for the iron sword because this matches our new outfit probably the most and I think that iron swords are just underrated overall so we just took one and I am going to show all of you just how good this thing is. You guys could compare it to the diamond one though because that wouldn't be fair. You find iron all the times and when you need diamonds you won't be able to find that so let's just not compare it to a diamond sword or even not with a golden sword, because gold is actually also really hard to find. But we are going to find a bit more stuff that we are going to kill, and by this time at the night we are also probably able to find all kinds of mobs up here and then we can just look and we are just going to mainly aim for food and stuff but I guess that we could use rotten meat maybe. I am not really sure but we could do that just because we can. But we could also just not do that and just kill a whole lot of mobs and then we would also protect the world like a real power ranger. But let's just go ahead and do all of this that we are going to need for our barbecue and then we are good to light all of the coal and then you guys maybe can come early and help me with all of that stuff. Because that is pretty hard and normally I just waste a couple of coals because they are just difficult and I just struggle to do all of that. So let's proceed and look for all the meat that our barbecue is going to need and then we are good to go and do all of that what we just talked about. A bit of gunpowder could also not hurt anyone, or if we make it into a bullet then I guess that it could hurt someone, and we could also make it into TNT so I guess that it is going to hurt someone which is not really that great. But I guess that you have to do something with the gunpowder that you get, you could also just store it in a chest or something but that wouldn't really be that much fun so we are just not going to do that. But we could do that and just not use it but that would be the same if you buy a Ferrari but we aren't on that life anymore we are on the life that we need to end this video. I hope you like this video because I am thinking of making a part 2 of it so we can explore more places let me know down here what you guys think. To know more pranks, goodbye.